Yes, Lord, we give you praise. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, everyone. Thank you. We bless you, bless you, God bless you, God bless you. Receive wisdom. Aha. Receive the wisdom of the Almighty God. Is the principal thing. Is the principal thing. Is the principal thing. Wisdom. Is the principal thing. Is the principal thing. Is the principal thing. the principal thing aha wisdom is the principal thing it says get wisdom get understanding get wisdom get understanding the principal thing you need to have to operate in this world the principal thing you need to work on to operate in this world is called wisdom 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 is the principal thing the thing that makes you a star the thing that generates in your life the thing that connects you to people the thing that shows people who you are the thing that takes you to your destiny that thing that shows people the kind of person you are when wisdom manifests upon your life the change there will be a dramatic change a change a new thing will begin to happen in your life people will begin to notice you the power of god will begin to rest upon you mightily favor will begin to locate you when wisdom transfers upon your life, when wisdom shows upon your way, wisdom is the principal thing. Get wisdom, get understanding, get knowledge, get power and ability to be able to control, to be able to know the right thing to do at the right time. And who is it that gives wisdom? Oh, we give God the praise. God is the only one that can give you wisdom. When you ask God, he's the one that has the power to give you wisdom. He says wisdom and knowledge, both recurring themes in the Bible, are related but not synonymous. You see? The Bible says the dictionary defines wisdom as the ability to discern or judge what is true and what is right or lasting. Knowledge, on the other hand, is an information gained through experience, reasoning or acquaintance. Knowledge can exist without wisdom, you see, but not on the other way around. One can be knowledgeable, but without wisdom. You can have knowledge to do so many things, but you may not have wisdom. That's what it says. One may be knowledgeable, but without wisdom. Knowledge is knowing how to go, how to use a gun, or how to use a knife, or how to, wisdom is knowing how to use it and keep it hoisted. Keep it hoisted. So when you have wisdom, when God gives you wisdom, the wisdom will teach you what to do at the right time. It will implant the power that will enable you to know the right thing that you have to do at the right time. The right thing 
that you have to do at the right time. So get wisdom, get understanding, get power, get knowledge, get ability and power. It is the ability and power of the wisdom that you acquire that will give you ability to rule the world. Ability to rule the world. You will be able to rule the whole world because the wisdom that God can, has given unto you cannot be compared to that which man can give unto you. Man can give you knowledge. You have the knowledge. You go to school. You learn how to write. You learn how to teach. When you go to school, the school gives you knowledge. You get knowledge in mathematics. You get knowledge in English. You get knowledge to get a degree. You want to get a degree in your school. When you go to university, you go there to study. When you study, you get the knowledge and the ability to be able to know how to teach. Sometimes you want to learn how to teach. You are going there to get knowledge. When you go to school, you go to get knowledge. When you go to university, you go to get knowledge. When you, anything that you are doing in this world, whether you are working or you are learning a trade, whatever trade that you are learning, you are, you are getting knowledge. The, you, the, you are using the knowledge of that trade to be able to do what you are doing. So it is knowledge that you are getting when you are learning a trade, when you are in the supermarket, when you are learning how to do fishing, you are getting knowledge, the knowledge and ability that will enable you to do that fishing properly. The knowledge is implanted inside your, your brain. So when you now set up your own business, the knowledge that you learned from where you went to study, you will now use that knowledge to set up your business. Whatever business you want to set up, you gained knowledge from university. The knowledge you gain from university is what you are going to use to set up your business. Whatever it is that you want to do, you go there to gain knowledge. But there is something that you cannot get. You can get knowledge from men. You cannot get wisdom from when. Wisdom is divine. It is God that gives you wisdom. When you have wisdom, you are surpassed somebody that have knowledge. When you have wisdom, you are your power, the ability you have to be able to reason is more than somebody that have the knowledge and understanding to be able to do something. So when you have knowledge, knowledge is just a minor thing. The wisdom that God will give unto you is what will make you to be great. Knowledge cannot make you to be great. Knowledge can only make you to have knowledge to be able to write something just for a few days, just for a few months, just for a few years. And the knowledge that you have can, 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 knowledge is, it is knowledge that give you certificates. You want to go to get a degree in a university. You learn how to write, you learn, you do your BSc, you do your master's, you do your, 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 your BSc, your master's, your degree. And then you now get your certificate. You come out with flying colors. You get your master's. You have now gained the knowledge that will enable you to teach. You have gained the knowledge that will enable you to become a doctor. You are now working in a surgery. You have gained the knowledge that will enable you to become a bachelor. You have gained the knowledge that will enable you to do greater things in the life. But when we are talking about wisdom, my friend, wisdom is something that is more powerful. You cannot underestimate the power of wisdom. You cannot underestimate what wisdom can carry. You cannot underestimate the, 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 the ontology 
I call it, I use the term ontology. <laughs> the ontology that wisdom can make you. The ontology that wisdom can change you. Wisdom can make you great. Wisdom can define you. Wisdom can make you something that you never become in your life. That is the power of what wisdom can do in your life. Wisdom can make you anything that you want to become in this life. Wisdom can shower upon you. Wisdom can change your destiny completely in anything that you want to do. Let us read 1 Kings, 1 Kings chapter 3. 1 Kings chapter 3. The Bible said that was the place eh? the king went to Gibeon to offer sacrifices there. That was the place where the most important altar was. Solomon was offering burnt offerings and thousand times on the altar there. One night in Gibeon, the Lord showed himself to Solomon in a dream. You see, when God appears to you, he appears to you in a dream. You see that? But this time, God appeared to Solomon in a dream and God told him ask ask me to give you whatever you want anything you want sometimes God can appear to you and tell you ask me anything that you want me to give you anything in this world that you want me to give you Solomon answered you always showed your faithful love to your servant my father David he served you faithfully as good, honest man. You have continued to show your faithful love to him even now. You have even given him a son to rule as king of the throne. Eh? But you now made me become a king as, uh, as my father David was king. I am here as your servant to lead the people to be a choosing place. Eh? To lead the people. It is a great nation and has too many people to count. So please give me a wise mind that understand things well. Give me a wise mind that understand things well. You want to rule people. Solomon was there. He wanted to rule people. He wanted to accord people. He wanted to rule people as a king, a king, a mighty king. He knew that he was not able able to do it by his own self he was not able to acquire everything by his own self and now he asks god to give him wisdom then i will be able to rule your people properly i will know the difference between right things and wrong things I will not only be able to rule this great nation if you do that for me the lord was pleased that Solomon for an ask, ask for this. So God said to him, you have not asked me to give you long life and you have not asked me to make you rich. You have not asked me to punish your enemies. Instead, you ask for a wise mind so that you can rule well. Because of what you have done, I will give you what you have asked for. Yes, I know a wise mind. You will be wiser than anyone who has ever lived. Eh? I will give you even more than this and I will make you rich and famous. Even though you did not ask for that, as long as you live, there will be no other king that is greater than you. And you will serve me, and, uh, and as long as you serve me faithfully, I will also give you long life. But you must obey my rules and commandments as your father David did. You see the power of wisdom. The power and ability that wisdom has. No man can underestimate it. The power and ability that wisdom can carry. No man can insulate it. Because wisdom is from God. God... God gave Solomon wisdom. He did, Solomon did not ask for the life of his enemies. He did not ask for money. When God appeared to you, when God appeared to some people, and they tell me, ask, give, ask, ask me anything you want me to give you in this world. Look at all the world and all the nation. 
Ask me whatever it is you want me to give you, and I will give it unto you. Many people will start asking, Ah, I want to have money. I, I need money. I need plenty of money. I want to be rich and powerful. I want to have plenty cars. I want to have success. I want to make it. I want to see people see, see me as big. That is not what is important. When you have wisdom, God can give you all these things. Solomon asked God for wisdom. He did not ask for riches. He did not ask for wealth. He did not ask for anything. But because of the understanding and power that he was able to ask God only for wisdom, God gave him riches. God gave him wealth. God gave him long life and prosperity. Apart from wisdom, God added so many things to it. So many things to wisdom that Solomon was able to rule. There was no king that was wiser than Solomon. That is the ability of what wisdom can do for you. When God gives you wisdom, you will be able to understand how people behave. When God gives you wisdom, you will be able to check people. You will be able to know what to do at the right time. You will be able to know the right thing to do and the wrong thing to do. But when we don't have the wisdom of God, that is when we carry out certain act activities that is wrong, certain things that we are not supposed to do. It is God that gives wisdom. The wisdom is better than knowledge. Knowledge and ability that you have is limited. Wisdom, the, the weight which wisdom carries is more than the knowledge and ability that you have. You went to school to gain wisdom. You have wisdom to drive a car. You have the knowledge to learn in college. That is college. That is the things of the world, my friend. You need to ask God to give you wisdom. Wisdom and ability to be able to control. Wisdom and ability to be able to rule. Wisdom and ability to be able to do what is right from what is wrong. Wisdom and ability to be able to do what is right from what is wrong. Proverbs 1 verse 7. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. To be able to have wisdom, you must have the fear of God. When you have the fear of God, you will know what to do. You will not do what is wrong. You will not do the wrong thing that you are supposed to do. Because you fear God. You fear God. Because you fear God, you will not commit adultery. Because you fear God, you will not sin against God. You will obey the full commandment to the latter. You will obey everything because you have the fear of God. The Bible says, why do you call me Lord, Lord, when you do not do what I say? Why are you praying every day? Why are you singing songs every day? Why are you going to church every day? Why are we praying every day? You are praying to God. You believe in God. You believe that God, God can sort you out. You believe that God can make things to work for you. But you are not doing, but we are not doing what God asks us to do in his commandment. Are we following the commandment of God? Are we obeying what God asks us to do in his commandment? We are praying every day. You believe it that God can work it out for you. When we have a little problem, we go before God and we begin to ask God for intervention. You believe that God can work it out for you. The why do you call me Lord, Lord, and you do not do what I see? Why are we praying every day and we cannot do what God asks us to do? Why are we praying every day and we are not following the commandments of the Lord? Why are we seeking God every day and we are not obeying the things that God asks us to do? Eh? Proverbs 2 verse 6, For the Lord gives wisdom. From his mouth comes knowledge and understanding. It is only God that can give you wisdom. 
Man cannot give you wisdom. Man can give you knowledge. It is knowledge that man can give you. Man can never give wisdom. Wisdom is divine. Wisdom comes from God. It is better for you and I to have wisdom than to have knowledge. Because wisdom surpasses knowledge. When you have wisdom, the wisdom of God will equip you. It will equip, equip you both physically and spiritually. The wisdom of God will enlighten you both physically and spiritually. The wisdom of God will open you to the secrets in the kingdom of God. There are some secrets in the kingdom of God that you cannot understand. But it is the wisdom of God that will enlighten you and open you to those secrets so that you will be able to know what to do at the right time. Proverbs 2, 10 to 11. For wisdom will come into your heart and knowledge will be pleasant to your soul. Discretion will watch over you and understanding will guard you. Discretion will watch over you and what? Understanding will guide you. Understanding will guide you. So wisdom comes into your heart. Knowledge is pleasant to your soul. Discretion is what is watching over you. And understanding is what is guiding you. You see those things already. Everything is already being equipped in wisdom. When you have wisdom of God in your heart, it is the knowledge of God that will make your soul to be pleasant. It is the discretion of God that will watch over you wherever you are going so that you don't take the wrong, you, you don't go into the wrong place at the wrong time. And it's the, it is the understanding of God that will guide you and direct your steps. Direct your steps on the right path. Direct your steps on the place where you are supposed to go. Proverbs 3 verse 5. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In your ways, submit to him and he will make your paths to be straight. In your ways, submit to him, submit to God, and then he will make your paths to be straightforward. He will make your ways to be straightforward. Eh? Proverbs 3, 13 to 14. Blessed is the one who finds wisdom. When you have wisdom, trust me, you are blessed. If you can pray for God to give you wisdom, you are blessed. You are blessed than anything in this world. You are blessed you, you, because you surpass anybody. You are you, the, 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 you, the, the, the grade that you are, the grade of upgraded that the Lord has graded you to have wisdom is very, very, un, is very, very powerful. If you have wisdom, you surpass anybody. Blessed is he, you are blessed. And the one who gets understanding for the gain, for it, for it is better to gain than from silver, than her profit better than gold. Is better. Hmm? And Proverbs 4 verse 7, the beginning of wisdom is this, get wisdom and whatever you get, get understanding. Get wisdom. You and I need to operate in the level of wisdom. We need to start operating in the level that we are operating. The level that we are operating now is not the level we're supposed to be operating. We're supposed to be operating on the level of wisdom. The level of wisdom. The level of wisdom that is divine. The level of wisdom that is from above. That is where we're supposed to be operating from. When you operate from the level of wisdom, so many things will begin to take place in your life people will favor you so many things will begin to happen in your life miracles that you have never experienced before will begin to happen in your life the job that you have applied for 
25 years ago, when they have dumped your paper, will suddenly come your way. You will not understand it. Miracles will begin to happen in your life from left, right, and center. People will continue to knock at your door. Oh, Father, oh, people will continue to knock at your door. Favor will begin to locate you because you have the wisdom of God. Get wisdom. Get understanding. The principal thing you need to operate with in this world is wisdom and ability. If you have wisdom, there is nobody you can, there is no, there is nothing that you cannot operate because God has given you the wisdom to be able to operate on a level of power and authority. When you have wisdom, you are able to command the enemy. When you have wisdom, you are able to destroy weapons of darkness. When you have wisdom, you are able to take down the kingdom of darkness. When you have wisdom, the enemy will shake because the fire inside you that is burning, the fire inside that is burning we begin to locate you there is fire surrounding your body everything is surrounding you you are wholly complete 100 percent complete the whole armor of god is upon you the bible said put upon yourself the whole armor of god so that you may be able to stand against the wives of the devil for we wrestle not against the flesh but we wrestle against principalities and powers rulers of darkness of this world when wisdom comes upon you. The whole armor of God envelops you totally. It envelops you. When you are going to war, you have the armor beside you. You have your shield. You have your hamlet. You have your head hamlet. You have your sword. When somebody wants to attack you with the sword, you use your shield to defend that person so that the sword doesn't attack you. The same thing happens in the spirit realm. When you have wisdom, the the whole armor of God is upon you. The enemy cannot touch you. You are you become untouchable to the enemy because the wisdom that is upon your life can never be compared to that of man. Proverbs 9 verse 10. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom and the holy and the knowledge of the holy one is insight. Eh? Proverbs 14 verse 13, wisdom rests in the heart of a man of understanding. Anybody that has understanding, wisdom rests in the heart of a man of understanding. When somebody has understanding, wisdom will rest in your heart. Wisdom will rest on your place. Wisdom will rest everywhere you go. Wisdom will rest in the heart of a man that has understanding. When you have understanding, wisdom will rest in your heart. But it makes its, itself knows even, even in the midst of fools. Eh? It makes itself known eh? in the midst of fools. I pray for you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. The power that will equip you and I to be able to operate on the level of wisdom. To be able to, there's a level you and I need to begin to operate on. You need to begin to operate on the level of wisdom and understanding. Get wisdom. Get understanding. Unless you, unless we, you be, unless we begin to operate on the level of wisdom and power and ability. It is when you are operating on the level of wisdom, ability, and power. That is when you become untouchable to the enemy. That is when things begin to locate you. That that is when you become unshakable to the enemy. That is when power begins to operate upon your life. That is when you begin to speak with power and authority. That is when that is when everything begins to shine upon the days of your life. Eh? Proverbs 17, 24. The discerning sets his face towards wisdom, but the eyes of a fool are in the ends of the earth. Somebody who is a discerning person will set his face towards wisdom. Lord, give me wisdom. 
I need wisdom, Lord. It is by wisdom that I can be able to operate. It is by wisdom that I can be able to change levels. It is by your wisdom that I can be able to do what is right at the right time. It is by your wisdom that it is the wisdom that you are giving unto me that will make me a different person entirely. A different person that will make me to operate on a different level. The level that you begin to operate. Your people, the, the, your, your friend will not understand you again. They are looking at you at a different person because you are operating on a different level. They cannot understand it because the things of God look stupid. They cannot understand it because you are operating on a different level. The level of wisdom and ability that God has given unto you to know what is right from what is wrong, to know a truth from a lie. So when you have wisdom, when when somebody speaks to you, you are able to discern, you are, you are able to discern and know whether the person is lying or telling the truth. In this world that we are today, many people can lie. Many people lie. They lie and they lie and they lie. They lie. You don't know whether they are telling the truth. You don't know whether they are speaking a lie. Some people will come to you. They will lie to you. You don't know. You will just accept it. Okay. There's nothing I can do about it. But when you have the wisdom of God, you have this, you are able to discern whether somebody is telling the truth or is telling a lie. God will really, God will give you the power and ability to be able to know that this person is lying. To be able to know that this person is telling the truth. Because wisdom, the wisdom you have is from the almighty God. The Jehovah Shalom. The Jehovah Jireh. The King of King and Lord of Lord. Proverbs 19 verse 20. Listen to advice and accept instruction that you may gain wisdom in the future. Listen to advice. Accept instruction. If you want to gain wisdom, you need to listen to the advice. You need to accept instruction. You need to do what God asks you to do. You need to obey God. The disobedient to God can bring so many problems in somebody's life. When you want to get wisdom, wisdom comes, wisdom of God comes with obedience to God. Complete total obedience. Complete total obedience. Surrender yourself completely to God. Humble yourself and he will exalt you. That is the only way that wisdom can operate. That is the only way that God can change your level. That is the only way that things that can begin to happen in your level. Get wisdom. Get understanding. Proverbs 21 verse 20. No wisdom, no understanding and no counsel can avail against the Lord. No wisdom, no understanding, no counsel can avail against the Lord. Eh? Eh? Proverbs 23 says, By truth and do not sell it, by wisdom, instruction and understanding. Get the truth. Get wisdom. Get it. You need wisdom. I need wisdom. We need the wisdom of God to be able to operate in this world. There are so many things happening in this world. You and I need wisdom to be able to know it, to be able to understand. When you have the wisdom of God, God will reveal so many things to you. He will tell you so many things that you don't even know. So many things that you have not even experienced in your life. Because you have the wisdom of God, everything in your life will begin to fall into place. Proverbs 31 verse 26, she sparks, she speaks with wisdom and faithful instruction is in her tongue. Faithful instruction, instructions will begin to come out of your tongue that are faithful because you have the wisdom of God, because the wisdom of God is upon your life to operate in this world. To be able to operate in this world, you cannot operate in this world without the wisdom of the Almighty God. 
You cannot operate in this world without the wisdom of God. To operate in this world, you need wisdom from God. You need his wisdom. It is by his wisdom that he will enable you to operate in a different level to totality. Ephesians 2 verse 26. For to the one who pleases him, God has given wisdom and knowledge and joy. But to the sinner, he has given the business of gathering and collecting only to give to one who pleases God. This is the vanity and striving of the wind. You see that? Anyone that pleases God, as long as you please God and you are doing what he's asking you to do and you ask him for wisdom, he will give it to you. He will give you wisdom. Forget about the knowledge you get in your school. Forget about your certificate and everything. The wisdom that God will give to you is greater than that certificate that you went to learn in your secondary school or your university. You are a graduate. You are a graduate, you have BSc, you have masters in your you made masters in your degree. You have the knowledge, you have the knowledge to teach. Some people have you have the knowledge to teach when you go for masters. Masters is a is a is an upgraded level, it covers everything when you go for masters. Masters gives you ability to teach. When you go for masters, you can do any job. If you if you get your masters, you can do any job that you want. You can go into business, you can do any job with a master's degree. Because master's degree covers everything entirely. It covers how to run a business. It covers law. It covers teaching. It covers everything completely. When you get your master's degree, you can venture into any job you want to venture into. When they see your master's degree, some people will say, yes, this guy is knowledgeable. You have the knowledge. You have the ability. But what about wisdom? When God gives you wisdom, wisdom of God is more than that master degree. Because there are certain things that wisdom can, there are certain things that the knowledge of that master degree can carry, that you are carrying, that wisdom of God will surpass it. When that, when somebody have a master's degree in his hand, you will not know about it. But when you have the wisdom of God that you carry, the wisdom of God will change your level to a different thing in, entirely in life. And the way that person will begin to speak, you begin to see that there is something that has changed in this person's life. Eh? In this person's life. There's something that has changed. As as let's say 7 verse 2. Eh? Eh? For the protection of wisdom is like the protection of money. And the advantage of knowledge is that wisdom preserves the life of him who has it. You want your life to be preserved? You need wisdom. Pray to for God to give you wisdom. Everything can be achieved through the wisdom of God. Solomon asks God for wisdom. Many people, when you ask them to do, as I said previously in the past, they ask you, "What is it that you want?" When when three people when three people are uh, when three people are asking for something, okay, what do you want me to give you? Some people will say, "I want money." Seriously. People will say, I, I need money. I want to be rich. I need a lot of cars. I, 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 I want to be rich and powerful. I, I need to have so many cars. I need to have so many houses. I need to build so many houses. I have so many things to come to do in this world. I want to build so many houses for myself. I want to have so many cars. I want to have so many land. I have to I want to have so many property in this world and everything. But one person will just tell tell that person, I don't need them. All I need from you is your knowledge and wisdom. All I need is your power. I need God to empower me, strengthen me and empower me. I don't need all those things. By now, I need wisdom. Because when you get wisdom, those things that you are looking for will locate you. When you get wisdom, that money that you are looking for will locate you. 
When you get wisdom, that car that you want to buy will locate you. When you get wisdom, the money that you say you want, that you, you want to be rich and successful, when you get wisdom, money will locate you, power will locate you, authority will locate you, everything that you need in this world will locate you. You will not have to struggle for it. Many people struggle for money. They are doing many jobs. They are walking around, doing everything, paying rent and paying mortgage and all those kind of things. Many people are struggling to make ends meet. When you have wisdom you don't need to struggle all these things will locate you they will find you they will find you they will come to you you don't need to go to it you don't need to fight for it it will come directly to you because you have the wisdom of god because the wisdom of god is upon your life many things will begin to surround you favor will locate you mercy will locate you goodness and mercy will follow you all the days of your life according to the bible goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life and you shall dwell in the house of the lord as long as you continue to dwell in the house of the lord as long as you continue to obey his commandment as long as you continue to do what he asks you to do as long as you continue to follow his commandment and you don't fall down his commandment goodness and mercy shall continue to follow you all the days of of your wife, life. Favor will begin to locate you. So many things will begin to come your way. Even something that you don't even expect. A miracle. Do you know what a miracle is about? A miracle. Something that you are not even thinking of. Your mind is not there. You are not thinking of it at all. It will begin to locate you. You will be shocked and surprised. The job that you are not even expecting, you don't have the certificate for the job. Even though you have you, you even though you have certificate and you are looking at the job, you have a certificate, but yet you are, you want to become a, a, a board director. You a board director. Eh? And you you, you 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 are looking at the board, uh, you are looking up to become a board director. And the certificate you have does not guarantee you to become a board director. But because you have wisdom, which is the principal thing, because you have wisdom, because you have wisdom, because you have wisdom, whoever is at the top of that board director will locate you wherever you are and place you on that particular thing. Then we make you a board director because the favor of God has located you. The favor of God has pulled you out. The favor of God has taken you out of where you are supposed to be and place you at the top. Favor of God can place you at the top. The wisdom of God can place you at the top. Get wisdom, my friend. Get wisdom. Get understanding. Get wisdom, get understanding. Get wisdom and get understanding. Eh? Get wisdom and get understanding. Romans 12 verse 12, do not be confounded with this word, but be transformed in the renewal of your mind, that the testing by testing you may discern what is the will of God, which is good and acceptable and perfect. Do not be confirmed to this world. Let your mind be transformed. Be transformed in the renewal of your mind. Be transformed in the renewal of your mind. Let your mind be transformed. Let everything inside you be transformed. Be transformed in the renewal of your mind. And then the wisdom of God will begin to locate you wherever you are wisdom of god will begin to locate you wherever you are eh? first corinthians 2 6 7 yet among the mature we do impact wisdom although it is no wisdom of this age or the rulers of the age we are doomed to pass away but we impart a secret and hidden wisdom of god which god decreed before the ages of our glory God has already decreed it before the ages of our glory, the wisdom. Let no man deceive oneself. If anyone among you think he is wise, you see, let him become a fool that he may be wise. 
You see, if anybody think he is wise, let that person become a fool so that he may be wise. Whoever think is wise, let that person behave like a fool so that he's wise. Why is the, does the, why do, why does God say that? Eh? Why does God say that? For the wisdom of God is foolishness. The wisdom of this world is foolishness. The wisdom from God is mighty and great. When you get wisdom from God, God can turn you into whatever he wants to turn you. But the wisdom of this world is foolishness. The wisdom you get from this world is foolishness because it is not from God. The wisdom from this world can make you can 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 can, can you can can make you to make a mistake. The wisdom from this world can make you to do wrong thing that you are not supposed to do. The wisdom from this world can make you to, 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 to jump into certain things that you are not supposed to jump into. The wisdom of this world can make you to be impatient. When you are asking God for something, you need to be very patient and understand him. Very patient and understanding when you are asking God. Wisdom of this world can make somebody to be impatient. When you are have wisdom, you have understanding. The wisdom of this world is foolishness, but the wisdom of this world is powerful. Hmm? We don't need the wisdom of this world. We need to get wisdom from the Almighty God. James 3 verse 13. Who is wise and understanding among you? By his good conduct, let him show his works in the meekness of wisdom. You want to be a wise man? You want to be strong? Hmm? Who is wise and understanding? Do you want to be wise? You want to be understanding? You want people to understand you. You, When you are speaking, you want people to understand you. When you are speaking, you want people to be wise. You be wise and understanding. The Bible says, whoever is wise and understanding, eh, by his conduct and his good works, let that person be in the meekness of wisdom. Everything comes from wisdom. It is by wisdom that we get understanding. It is by wisdom that we get good conduct. It is by wisdom that we be, eh? but the wisdom from then is above is pure. James 3, 17. But the wisdom from above is first pure. Then peaceable, gentle, open to reason, full of mercy and good fruits, impartial and sincere. You see what everything that is imbibed in wisdom. When you get that single thing that you have, which is wisdom, you see what is inside it. There are so many things inside wisdom. There are over, over 700 things that comes with wisdom. Over 700 things that comes with wisdom. Over 700. Eh? Number one, peaceful. You are very peaceful. You are very gentle. You are open to reason. When you get wisdom, you are open to reason. One, you are now full of mercy. You have good fruits. You are impartial and you are sincere. You see that one thing that has wisdom, that only single thing that you call wisdom, look at what is imbibed inside it. There are so many things that it contains. It contains everything that makes you to be to become a child of God. Everything that makes you to walk like a child of God. Everything that makes you to talk like a child of God. That when you are talking, people are looking at you. This man has really changed. Something is wrong somewhere. It is the wisdom that God has given to you that has made your life to be different. That made your life to be a different. That wisdom that you are looking about has so many incorporations over 100 things that you have imbibed inside that wisdom only that God can give unto you. But when this world goes to college, when you get knowledge in masters, it's only the masters that you have knowledge in. You don't have masters in other things. There are certain things, so many things in this world. You don't have masters to do. You don't have the knowledge in other areas. That knowledge you have is only curtailed in the certificate of what you are going to learn is curtailed in that certificate when you go for a catering course you only get 
a, a certificate in that catering only. You know how to cook. You know how to do a cook in the kitchen. You know how to make different dishes. You know how to cook so many things for lo for lodgers. Yeah, you, you are not. You are only curtailed in catering section only. But when you have wisdom, wisdom will teach you how to cook. Wisdom will teach you how to work. Wisdom will teach you how to how to how to how to how to become how to, how to become a board director. Wisdom will teach you how to become an executive director. Wisdom will teach you how to become a, a chairman. Wisdom will teach you so many things that you don't even experience. That small thing that you call wisdom it will teach you so many things in this world. It will teach you so many things in this world. Eh? That small thing that you call wisdom, there are so many things in Bible. In it. That is the reason why you and I need wisdom. Wisdom to operate in this world. Wisdom to operate in this level. Colossians 3 verse 10. And have put on a new self which is being renewed in the knowledge with the image of his creator. Eh? The Bible says human wisdom depends on human tradition. If they are seeking, if they are seeking, Amen. Thank you, Jesus. We give God the praise. We give God the glory and all the adoration. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, let your name be glorified, Lord. Thank you, Father. All blessing, all power, all dominion be unto you, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Eh? Amen. Human wisdom depends on human tradition. That is why it is vital to approach God with humility. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. When we have the heart of humility, we can come to God with open hands and open hands ready to receive. It is humility that enables us to accept instruction and wise counsels. Humility enables us to accept instruction. Eh? God delights to lavish more wisdom on us when we ask him. But according to James, could it really be simple as asking for more? Eh? We can also depend on his Holy Spirit to help us navigate his word. And the Holy Spirit illuminates God's word to us, enlightening us to his hidden treasures. Enlightening us to his hidden treasures. We can live our life with wisdom or without wisdom. But the Bible verses on wisdom and knowledge gives us much incentive to know in understanding of God and his word. Many of the Proverbs emphasize the value of wisdom. But God's word is how we learn and how to engage in the world around us to take captives, to take, to take thoughts captives. Eh? The Bible teaches us who is glorious father? Who is our glorious father? And how we can rest in him and his steadfast love. Eh? A life without wisdom and knowledge leads to foolishness. Any life without wisdom and knowledge leads to foolishness, difficulty in living and relating. So why not learn? Why not lean into God for something as vital as wisdom? A life without wisdom is foolishness. Difficulty in living. So lean onto God and let us ask God to give us the wisdom that is curtailed. Eh? Let us ask God, in order to have more wisdom, we must also acknowledge that God alone is the source of wisdom and knowledge. Then we need to approach God with humility, recognizing, eh, recognizing we do not have wisdom apart from him and his word. We don't have wisdom apart from him and his word. Eh? How will you be working with God? To gain more wisdom. Eh? How do you be working with God to gain more wisdom? How do we work with God to gain more wisdom? Wisdom is the principal thing that we need to operate in this world. Wisdom 
A life without wisdom is foolishness. A life without wisdom is stupidity. A life without wisdom is operating on the flesh. When we don't have wisdom, we are operating in the flesh. To be able to operate in spirit, we need wisdom. The Bible says God is spirit and those that worship him, worship him in spirit and in truth. Pray for God to give you the wisdom to operate, to get to a higher level in this world. Ask God for wisdom. Ask God for wisdom. I pray for you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, that the power of wisdom will locate you wherever you are. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the power of wisdom will locate you. In the name of Jesus, the power of wisdom will locate you. Wherever you are, in the name of Jesus, wherever you are watching me from, the power of wisdom will locate you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And your life will be blessed. Your life will be successful. Your life will receive the blessing of God that it needs. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. As we go out today, in everything that we do, don't forget, let us ask God for wisdom. It is wisdom that directs. It is wisdom that can replenish you. It is wisdom that can make you to be successful. That small word that you see that has wisdom has so many things inside it. And that so many things is what, can, is what God can use to replenish you and take you to the next level and make you the finest person that you can ever be in this world. Thank you, Father. We give God the praise. We give God the glory. We magnify your name. King of kings and Lord of lords, let your name be glorified in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We give God all the praise. If you want to accept Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior, just type it on the screen. I want to accept Jesus as my personal Lord and Savior. And I will pray for you and ask God to intercede on your behalf. Whatever you are going through, whatever difficulty you are going through, just type it on the screen. I will pray for you. Whatever is that problem that you are going through, I will pray for you that that problem will disappear in the mighty name of Jesus. And remember, you yourself must learn how to pray. Learn how to pray. Learn how to pray. I can pray for you, one. But you must learn how to pray by yourself. Learn how to connect to God. Learn how to connect to God. Let God use you directly. I am just a vessel that is trying to tell you how to connect to God and how to pray. And the things that you need to connect to God, the things that will help you to connect to God, the things that will help you to connect to God so that God will solve your problem, so that God will solve your need, so that God will meet all your demands. All those things that you need to connect to God is what I am telling you about. You can pray to God by yourself. You can also connect to God by yourself. God can also meet your need the way is meeting my need and everybody's need all over this world. There are so many things going on in people's marriages and homes. But I pray in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth that the Lord God Almighty will bring, will make you and bring you to an unexpected end in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Continue to serve God. Continue to worship God. Continue to exalt his name. And I pray that the blessings of God Almighty will continue to rest upon you wherever you are. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. God bless you in Jesus' name. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up the light of his countenance upon you and give you his peace. Now and forevermore. In Jesus' name. I love you with all my heart. Uh, but God... Jesus, God loves you more. I too, I love you more. I love you, but God loves you. We all love you with all our heart. 
the blessing of God will be upon you, upon your family, upon your children, in the mighty name of Jesus. Whatever it is you are going through, I pray that the Lord God Almighty will resolve them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up the light of his countenance upon you and give you his peace now and forevermore. Amen. Shall we share the grace together, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit. Rest and abide with us now and forevermore. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our life, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Thank you very much. God bless you all in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time, hopefully on Friday, I will see if we can come up with another word that will help you and that will help you and to grow and help you more about God and teach you more about the things of God and the things of the kingdom so that it will help your heart to continue to grow and it will help you to know God more and understand God more. God bless you all in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you very much. God bless you in Jesus' name. Thank you. Amen.